Hello everyone, welcome back to Prophetic Living, the place where I talk about the word of God, prophecy and prayer. God bless you. So if this is something you're interested in, watch the video to the end. And we are going to be reading Proverbs 6, 27, 28 and Proverbs 6, uh, 20. So we are going to be reading that verse in Jesus' name. This is a Proverbs. I'm reading from Proverbs 6, Proverbs 6, verse uh, 27. Can a man scoop fire into his lap without his clothes being burnt? Can a man walk on hot coals without his feet being scorched? Can a man scoop fire in his laps without his clothes being burnt? Can a man uh, walk on hot coals? without his feet being scorched. Proverbs uh, Proverbs uh, 6, verse 20. This was uh, a son who was being given instruction. My son, keep your father's command and do not forsake your mother's teaching. Bind them always on your heart. Fasten them around your neck. Walk When you walk, they will guide you. When you sleep, they will watch over you. When you awake, they will speak to you. For his command is a lamp. His teaching is a light. And correction and instruction are the way of life. Amen. This talks about the word of God. And a father here refers even to our father. He's a loving father. Speaking to his sons. Keep your father's command. Do not forsake your mother's teaching. Bind them always on your heart. Fasten them around your neck. When you walk, they will guide you. When you sleep, they will watch over you. When you awake, they will speak to you. For this command is a lamb. This teaching is a light. And correction and instruction are the way of life. It also talks about the parents that were advising their, 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 their son based on God's word, their father and their mother, they were referring to the word of God and they were instructing their son on the way of life, on the path of life, on the commandments of God concerning the adulterous woman, concerning the strange woman. Can a man scoop fire into his laps? without his clothes being burnt? Can a man walk on hot coals without his feet being scorched? And they were warning the sun. When we read in Proverbs 7, it is the feet of the man that was walking to that path. And he was being warned not to walk down that path because that path leads to death. We are going to read... Um, we are going to read Proverbs 7. Proverbs 7. Again, he was being warned. My son, keep Proverbs 7 verse 1. My son, keep my words and store up my commands within you. Keep my commands and you will live. Guard, your, guard my teachings as the apple of your eye. So he was supposed to guard his heart and, and the word that he was uh, the counsel of his parents in his heart bind them on your fingers write them on the tablet of your heart we know out of the heart are the issues of life say to wisdom you are my sister and to insight you are my relative they will keep you from the adulterous woman from the wayward a woman with her seductive words so he was being counseled to make wisdom his sister and inside his relative to put those wisdom close to his heart and the word of God gives us wisdom the word of God gives us counsel why was he being given this warning why was he being told to watch where his feet enter because his clothes were going to be burned and his feet were going to be scorched I want us to pray in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 
Our Father and our God, we thank you. We give you glory and honor and adoration. We magnify your name and we bless you. We thank you, my Father, my God, even for your word. We invite your power and your presence to come and take over in the mighty name of Jesus, Son of the living God. Thank you for every man. Thank you for every woman that is listening, my Father, my God, those that you have ordained, my Father, my God, even to hear this word, my Father, my God. Father, we repent of every sin in our lives in the name of Jesus. We repent, my Father, my God, and we cry for mercy, O oh God. Show us mercy, my Father, my God. Show us mercy, Jehovah God, where we have sinned against you, O oh God, with our soul, with our bodies, my Father, my God. We repent, O oh God. We repent of the sin, O oh Jehovah God, my Father, my God, of our body. Forgive us, O oh God. Your word says in First John 1, 9, that if we repent, you're righteous and just to forgive us and remember our sin no more. And Leviticus 17 talks about that it is the blood of Jesus uh, that atones for the sin. So atone for our sins, O oh God, the sins of our lives, O oh God, the sins, O oh God, even of our spouses, my father, my God, of our siblings, O oh God, the sins in our family line, the sins of our bloodline, the iniquity, the transgression, O oh God, of idolatry and repent my father my god we ask you by your blood and by your spirit to forgive us in the mighty our name of jesus we invite you holy spirit it is your word that delivers it is your word that sets free in the mighty our name of jesus our son of the living god we thank you holy spirit and we worship you in jesus name amen hallelujah god bless you and even as I say this, I do not say it in a judgmental way. Amen. The word of God says that we have sinned and we have all sinned and fallen short of the of the glory of God. And the word of God also says that the word of God is for correction. It is for reproof. It is so that uh, it may set us free in the mighty name of Jesus. So when we speak, we do not speak as one who has apprehended. We speak as people who God has shown us so much grace. Amen. So we are going to be praying even uh, for our spouses, be it a man, be it the woman that in, is in an adulterous uh, relationship. We are going to pray that God is going to show us mercy in the mighty name of Jesus, that God is going to show our sons, our siblings, those who are involved, mercy in the mighty name of Jesus, our son of the living God. And as the word of God goes forth, let there be deliverance in the name of Jesus for a man, for a woman, for somebody who is standing in the gap for somebody, that the mercy of God, shall be so prevalent in the name of Jesus. Because the word of God says the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases and his mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. So we are going to be crying out for mercy. That God is going to show mercy to our loved ones who are in adulterous relationships in the mighty name of Jesus. Be it the man, be it the woman, whoever it is. God is going to show them mercy in the mighty name of Jesus, that they are going to turn away from their wicked ways and they are going to return to God. And God in his great mercy and his great compassion is going to turn uh, he's going to turn around that situation in the mighty name of Jesus, our son of the living God. So we have seen in Proverbs um, 6, verse 27, that can a man scoop fire in his laps without his clothes being burnt? That is how a man scoops fire in his laps. When he takes a wayward woman, a woman that we have been told in, in Proverbs 7, then, then out came a woman to meet him, dressed like a prostitute with crafty intent, lured him, seduced him to her bed. And the word of God says that the matrimonial bed shall not be defiled in the mighty name of Jesus. So, that is how his clothes get burnt. Can a man walk in hot coals? He walks in hot coals when he, he with his feet and he gets scorched. With his feet, he walks down the street to the corner, walking along the direction of her house with his feet. At twilight, as the day was fading, as the dark of the night are setting. So we are going to pray. We are going to pray for the feet of our men, the men in our lives, our spouses, our husbands. We are going to pray for their feet. In the name of Jesus, our spouses, whether the man or the woman, 
as the situation applies, but their feet are not going to be scorched. That God is going to have mercy upon them in the mighty our name of Jesus, a son of the living God. Amen. Let us go and pray. Just uh, mention, mention the name of that person in your heart. Just mention them. And we've already repented, so we are just crying out for mercy. We are breaking those altars, those covenants, those things with our feet that lead us. And if you're that kind of man and you're listening to me or that kind of woman, we bless God for mercy. We bless God because the grace of God is present. In Jesus' name, can a man walk on hot coals without his feet being scorched? We don't want our feet to be scorched. We don't want the feet of our loved ones to be scorched in the name of Jesus, Son of the living God. Hallelujah. Our Father and our God, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. We thank you, my Father, my God, even for the feet, O Jehovah God, of our spouses in the name of Jesus, that their feet are not going to lead them in the name of Jesus, even to be scorched in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, my God, we cover their feet with the blood of Jesus. My Father, my God, we remove their feet from the wrong path in the mighty in name of Jesus. Begin to ordain their steps, my Father, my God. We repent where we have sinned with our feet, O oh God. Where we have sinned knowingly with our feet, in the name of Jesus. Forgive us, my Father, my God. Cleanse us, O oh God. Wash us, O oh God. Purge us, my Father, my God. We break every agreement, O oh God, with idolatry and idol worship, in the name of Jesus. We break those altars. We break those covenants. We renounce them. We denounce them. We break those agreements in the name of Jesus because we know my father my God that idolatry is connected my father my God to idol worship father we repent of our own sin the sin in our bloodline the sin in our ancestors life oh God even in our bloodline that my father God opened that door father we repent we plead the blood of Jesus and we thank you for your healing touch. We thank you for your power to deliver in the mighty name of Jesus. We break every agreement. We renounce it. We denounce it. We break those altars. We renounce those covenants in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Son of the living God. We decree, declare your word, my Father, my God. We decree, declare your promise upon our lives, O oh God. And we agree with you, O oh God, that the matrimonial bed shall not be defiled in the mighty name of Jesus, that marriage is a sacred institution in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and we worship you. We agree with your word in the mighty name of Jesus. We come into agreement with your word, my Father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to sanctify our feet, O oh God. Begin to ordain our feet, O oh God, to the right path in the mighty name of Jesus, the path of life. We begin to ordain our steps, O God, to the path of wisdom, my Father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Son of the living God. Father, we thank you. We repent for disobedience. We repent for being undisciplined, O God. We repent for not having uh, taken godly counsel. We repent, O Jehovah God, for not receiving the counsel of your word. Where, my Father, my God, we have followed our own selfish desires. We repent Repent, my Father God. Forgive us, O oh God. Cleanse us, O oh God. Wash us, O oh God. Purge us, O oh God. Make us holy one more time, my Father, my God. Begin to turn around our feet in the mighty name of Jesus to the feet that leads to life in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, and we worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. I bless God because we have prayed for our feet and even the feet of our spouses in the mighty name of Jesus, the feet of our loved ones, the feet even of our sons in the name of Jesus, that they shall not walk in the wrong path in the mighty name of Jesus, that even our youth shall not walk in the wrong path in the mighty our name of Jesus, our son of the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We, I, Proverbs 6.32 and uh, please remember if you're uh, getting blessed and if you found value in this video uh, please remember to subscribe to this channel so that um, you may um, get to learn more 
and uh, like this like the video subscribe uh, by pressing the notification bell that is just right, right next to the red button and uh, leave a helpful comment and god bless you so we are in uh, proverbs 6 32 proverbs 6 32 can a man but a man who commits adultery has no sense whoever does whoever does so destroys himself blows and disgrace are his lot and his shame will never be wiped away we want to plead the blood of Jesus and we want to cry out for mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. So we are going to pray for our spouse. We are going to pray that God is going to uh, fill them with wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That they will not be destroyed before their time. That honor is going to be their portion in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to pray two things. We are going to pray against the spirit of jealousy and envy. We are going to pray against uh, the spirit of uh, foolishness and folly that, and the spirit of, of uh, disgrace and shame and embarrassment that it will not be our portion. It will not be the portion of our spouses. It will not be the portion of our loved ones in the mighty name of Jesus. So using that scripture, I want us now to pray in the mighty name of uh, of Jesus, we know that uh, what um, jealousy does, uh, uh, jealousy causes revenge, and people take revenge in various forms. In the name of Jesus, and and uh, we want to cry for mercy. We want to cry for mercy in the mighty name of Jesus, our Son of the Living God. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Amen. Father, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Uh, we magnify your name, O God, and we bless you. Father, we repent of the spirit of foolishness and folly in the name of Jesus. We renounce and break every agreement with foolishness and folly in the mighty name of Jesus. We renounce foolishness in the mighty name of Jesus. It shall not be our portion in the name of Jesus because of lack of discipline in the name of Jesus, because of stubbornness of heart in the name of Jesus because my father my God of rebellion in the name of Jesus we repent oh Jehovah God forgive us oh God forgive our spouses forgive our loved ones forgive our sons forgive our daughters oh God in the mighty name of Jesus our son of the living God we ask for wisdom in the name of Jesus fill our hearts with wisdom in Jesus mighty name Amen and amen. Now we are going to thank God for giving us wisdom. Father, I thank you for giving us wisdom. Fill our hearts with wisdom in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Just tell God thank you. Thank you for filling your heart with wisdom in the mighty our name of Jesus. God is going to give you the wisdom. God is going to give you the counsel. God is going to give you the strength to walk away from an adulterous relationship in the mighty name of Jesus so that they may not be jealousy, so that they may not be envy, so that they may not be fury in the mighty our name of Jesus. So we are going to pray for honor in the name of Jesus because marriage is honorable in the name of Jesus and the matrimonial bed shall not be defiled in in the mighty name of Jesus, as son of the living God. We do not want uh, uh, blows and disgrace to be our lot in the name of Jesus. We do not want shame and embarrassment in the mighty name of Jesus. We are honorable men and women. We are men and women of character. We are men and women of integrity in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God says that a righteous man falls seven times, but he rises up. And I decree, declare that there is an arising. God is lifting a man. God is lifting a woman out of that pit in the mighty name of Jesus. So the grace of God is sufficient for you in the name of Jesus. I bless God for his word because the word of God in 1 John 1 9 it says, if you repent God is righteous to forgive you and remember your sin no more. We are not here to condemn any man. We are not here to condemn any woman. We are not here to sit in judgment in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless God. We bless God for there is a turnaround 
there is a turning around in the mighty uh, name of Jesus. Father, I thank you and I worship you for that man, that woman whose heart has turned back to you, O oh God. That man and that woman who has forsaken their wicked ways and they are crying out to you, they are drawing back to you, O oh God. They are returning back to their spouse in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for love and reconciliation in the name of Jesus. We pray for acceptance in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and we worship you. We bless your name, O oh God. We are praying for more grace in the name of Jesus. We come against the spirit of shame and embarrassment. We uproot, we tear down, we destroy and overthrow. We break every agreement with shame and embarrassment in the name of Jesus, with sin in the name of Jesus. We are now righteous. We are now the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. We thank you for honor. We thank you for integrity. We thank you for character. We thank you for more grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So just thank the Lord. Thank the Lord that it is done in the mighty uh, name of Jesus. Uh, God has done it. Hallelujah. Praise God. I bless God for you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We are going to pray and we are going to continue now to pray in the name of Jesus that now they are going to receive counsel in the name of Jesus. The counsel the commandments. They are not going to forsake the teachings, that they are going to bind them in their hearts and fasten them in their neck in the name of Jesus. That is what we have read in Proverbs 6, uh, verse 20, 21, uh, 22, in the name of Jesus. I'm going to take it again. My son, keep your father's commandments and do not forsake your mother's teaching in the name of Jesus. Bind them always on your heart. Father, I thank you because now you're binding up this word in the heart of a man, in the heart of a woman, in the name of Jesus. You're fastening it around their neck in the name of Jesus that you are going to lead them and your word is going to guide them in the path of life in the name of Jesus that even as they are sleeping oh God this word is going to change their heart in the mighty name of Jesus they will watch over your word my father God because your grace is sufficient for them in the mighty name of Jesus son of the living God that your word now is a lamp unto their feet and a light unto their path in the mighty name of Jesus as son of the living God hallelujah so I bless God because God has delivered us. God has delivered somebody in the mighty name of Jesus uh, from that fire of the adulterous woman in the mighty name of Jesus. I bless God for his word in the name of Jesus because my father God's word is true. Amen. And the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off and the just shall live by their faith. Amen. So we are believing in faith in the name of Jesus and we know that God is a God is a respecter of his word. Amen. And God honors faith in the name of Jesus. So we bless God for his word. Amen. And the word of God is the substance of our faith. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless God. We bless God because uh, there is deliverance. There is deliverance in Jesus' name. So we are going to pray. We are going to pray and we are going to uh, uh, tell God and ask the Father now to bind up his word in our heart, in our neck, and he's going to fasten it around our neck and, and our feet. He's going to lead and guide our feet in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. So let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. We thank you for your word. We thank you, my Father. Now we are asking, oh God, that your word, my Father, my God, is going to be bound in our hearts in the name of Jesus. You're going to fast, fasten your word in our neck and your word is going to lead our feet in the mighty name of Jesus, the feet of our spouses in the name of Jesus. And you are keeping them my father my god away from an adulterous relationship in the mighty a name of jesus a son of the living god we thank you my father my god for your divine intervention in the name of jesus we give you thanks oh god we give you praise oh god 
We worship and adore you. We magnify your name and we bless you in Jesus' name. So I want you to thank God for answered prayer. We are going to now go and thank God. Just say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It is done in the name of Jesus. Do not look at circumstantial evidence. Do not look at the physical realm. We look into the spirit realm. And in the spirit, it is already done in the mighty name of Jesus. It is just a matter of time in the name of Jesus. Those altars, those covenants have already been dismantled in the mighty name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what draws them to the adulterous woman. That code has been broken. That chain has been broken. That um, altar has been destroyed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless God. We, we are going to thank God now and cover our lives and our marriages, our spouses, our husbands, our wives with the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us just go and thank the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you. Thank you for answered prayer. Thank you because it is done in the name of Jesus. Thank you for answering a woman. Thank you for answering a man in the name of Jesus. Thank you for restoring marriages. Thank you for restoring a home, oh God. Thank you, my Father, my God. We give you all the glory and all the honor. We cover our marriages with the blood of Jesus. We cover our wives with the blood of Jesus. We cover our husbands with the blood of Jesus. We thank you, my Father, my God. We cover our marriages with the blood of Jesus. Thanks be unto God who gives us the victory in the mighty name of Jesus, our Son of the living God. 